This one is, you don't need to be king of the world, just king of your world. For now. Because like any good king, once you're king, then you want to take over the neighboring fiefdom. But, and I, this lesson was learned in Sweden, of all places. I was, um, in 1983, Twisted Sister had its first hit record, You Can't Stop Rock and Roll, in England, in the UK. It wasn't big anywhere else, but we, we blew up in the UK and top, you know, top 20 singles and on top of the pops, the big TV show back then, touring, it was great which led to our next album, Stay Hungry. And Stay Hungry was the one that sold 10 million copies internationally, and it just changed our lives and our world. Interestingly, the one country that did not get into Stay Hungry was England. The one country where Stay Hungry was viewed as a failure. So I was doing a promotional tour in, the, in Europe, and I was traveling all over Europe, and, and it was just great, going from one country to the other, being treated like a rock god, as well I should. And, uh, and, so, and on a Thursday, I am in Sweden. And as a matter of fact, it's the same week they're having the Nobel Peace Awards thing going on, and I'm in the fucking presidential suite, not those other losers. Okay, I'm in, I'm, and I'm like, this is, Awesome. I mean, limo to and from the best of everything. This suite was fantastic, right in Stockholm, and I am. I'm. I'm just. It's just unbelievable experience, the height of our popularity. And I remember signing. This is what sticks in my mind. I remember signing albums for people. The records that we got requests for autographs. I was signing them to the royal family. They were kids then. I'm signing to the Volvo kids, and I remember I was signing one to. Um, Oh man, I'm forgetting his fucking name, and I just blew it. Um, I just blew. I just blew it. The tennis guy, Bjorn Borg. Borg, right? And they said the first name only. So I said like, Bjorn, and I go Borg, and, they, and I go Borg, and they go yeah. And I said what? And and they said yeah. I said yeah what? And they go this one's for Bjorn Borg. And I go are you fucking kidding me? I mean this is this is the you know I mean to have royalty, to have. The, the, the kings of industry and your most famous tennis player and the most famous beyond in the world signing autographs from. This is a Thursday. Friday morning, I fly to the UK, to which I walk into a shitty little hotel. I, oh, I take a taxi to a shitty little hotel no, and proceed to sit into interview after interview of how the, my career's over, this record's a failure, how does it feel to have the... And I finish this day of misery, and I'm sitting in this shitty hotel, and the record company goes, all right, you got the whole weekend to yourself. <laughs> so I picked up the phone, and I said, they got anything else for me to do in Sweden? First class, back to Sweden, limousine, back to the presidential suite. Yes! Because Krona is money too, okay? And so the point is, I want to be where I'm the fucking king. And if I'm not the king in England, I'm going to be the king in Sweden. <laughs> so in your world, translating this to your world, don't worry about taking over the planet. Don't worry about being Bill Gates yet. Worry about ruling right here, right where you are, this place. And like I said, once you're king there, all good kings start eyeing the next kingdom to take over. And that's when you move on to the next place. But right now, this is the place you want to have control on control. And that, you know, you want to be a good king, but you want to be the king. All right? The world's most dangerous meeting. It's happening again next year, May 27th. You want to be there? Cause it rocks! <laughs>